year in Washington will feature a reshaped U.S. Congress. The House and the Senate are now controlled by opposing parties. In November's election, Republicans took control of the lower house, but with a very slim majority. With only four additional GOP members, the party will need their support to ensure its agenda is implemented. I'm proud to announce the era of one-party Democrat rule in Washington is over. Washington now has a check and balance. But first, a new Speaker of the House will be elected, a position that's third in line to the presidency. Much of the party supports the only contender, California Congressman Kevin McCarthy. But at least five Republicans have refused to back him, and he needs the votes of at least half the chamber. McCarthy will have to find a balance between the more hardline elements of the Republican Party, in particular those who continue to back former President Donald Trump, and those that see another way forward. So I think you'll see more Republicans trying to distance themselves from Trump while still hanging on to core conservative principles around the size of government, taxes, immigration, and, and other issues, especially because now they have options. If people like Governor Ron DeSantis, a conservative Republican governor of Florida, handily reelected uh, this, this past election cycle, who embraces a lot of Trump's policies, some of his rhetoric, but has none of the investigations, has none of the, none of the baggage that, that President Trump has. But the Republican Party has made it clear that it plans to immediately open investigations into government agencies, including the FBI and the tax collector, the IRS. There is no evidence that the FBI is unfairly targeting Republicans. There's no evidence that the IRS is unfairly targeting Republicans. If anything, the Internal Revenue Service failed to, uh, to audit President Trump. Republicans have also suggested they might impeach members of President Joe Biden's cabinet and potentially the president himself. And after the Democrat-led January 6th committee scrambled to release its final report and refer Trump for criminal prosecution at the end of December, Republicans will disband the panel entirely. With little to no plans to reach across the aisle, one thing is guaranteed. More gridlock in Washington. Yasmin Al-Sabawi, TRT World, Washington.